Hey y'all, this is Joe out here at the off-grid cabin at St. Bernard Acres. This is Wednesday, uh, September 2nd, day three of my test on the solar. Uh, it has been raining all day, pretty much all day. It's been cloudy and gray and overcast all day. So, I've had my refrigerator plugged in since Monday. I want to see where my batteries are at. Uh, it's about 6.30 at night, like I said. And I want to make sure everything's good. Make sure if they're above 25, 25, 2, somewhere in that area, I'll, I'll feel comfortable enough to let it run overnight. And uh, even in this kind of light, I mean, I still get some charge. So... Let's, I'm just hoping they're above 25 volts. Uh, 24 and a half volts, about as low as I want to go. 24.3, something like that. Uh, the way I understand it. So, let's see what we got going on inside the cabin. If it's even still working. <laughs> so. Okay, nothing's burning. Oh, it's pretty muggy in here. Whew. I hear the refrigerator going, so it must be cycling through. Let's see what we can see here. Let's see if we can turn the light on. All right, I can turn the light on. And we are at, what does this say? Come on, let's cycle through. 26.2. Alright, <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. I need to turn that meter light off. I need to get a pin or something. Uh, so once I look at it. 28 point or 25.85 good enough it's drawing 92 watts four amps and so far because I haven't reset it's drawing 1300 watts uh, as the energy it's used since I set it up so I don't need that running let's see if I can see if anything's coming in uh, if I can read this Yeah. Well, I made some because yesterday I was at like 3.5 kilowatts. Something like that. Uh, let's see. Batteries. I got 28 volts. I got a half a amp coming in and you saw how dark and ugly it was out there. So, yeah. I'm pleased. I am very pleased with where we are. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. I will certainly take it. Like I said, it's still... Things are cold. Uh, but it's running right now, so I guess it's got to warm up. Um, I did have a question for everybody. It's hot in here. I'm going back outside. Uh, I do have a question about amps and watts and blah, 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 all of that. This is my understanding. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, please. I have a battery bank that is 345 amp hours. Now, the way I understand that is I can run 345 amps for one hour or one amp for about 345 hours. 
that will deplete the batteries. That would take them down to zero. The deep cycle batteries, you don't want to take, definitely don't want to go more than half. I don't want to go more than 30%. So I'm going to take a third of that. I'm going to say I have a battery bank when fully charged. I have 115 amp hours, which means 115 amps for an hour or one amp for 115 hours. That's the way I understand it. And by that logic, this refrigerator and system, oh, look at the bunny rabbit. I don't know if you can see him or not. Sitting there by the cabin. Oh, there he goes, cottontail. Um, by that logic, when that refrigerator is running, it pulls a little less than two amps, the refrigerator and the inverter, uh, about 90 watts. So what I'm thinking is two amps per hour times 12 hours overnight, no sunshine, would be 24 amps. Out of the 115 amps I would have available if it was fully charged when it went dark. Um, now, I know it doesn't use that much because it doesn't cycle the entire time. That's just going on and off, so it's, even, it's going to wind up being less than that anyway. That's why I have no fear... Leaving the refrigerator running, you know, everybody's like, well, you get timers and you're wasting energy and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't see where I am. Uh, I would rather the refrigerator have a steady, you know, flow or I don't know. Maybe it's better that it stays powered versus every hour killing the power and then an hour later turning the power back on for an hour and then killing the power. I don't think with the size of the battery bank I have that that's particularly a concern for me. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, 345 amp hours. That's one amp for 345 hours or 345 amps for one hour. That's how I interpret that. Uh... And by using a third, I have 115 amps available to me in the full battery bank before I drop below 30%. Now, theoretically, I could go uh, 172 and a half amps, uh, amp hours, you know, and still be at 50%. So, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if my thought process is correct. <laughs> um, but I'm going to leave it running tonight. You can see how ugly it's been. There's a little bit of blue up there. But uh, even in this, you saw I was still drawing half an amp out of these panels. Uh, which to me is quite surprising. I'm surprised I'm getting anything. But that's my update for day three of running my solar system. Uh, if you guys get bored with these, let me know. I just want to, for everybody who's wanting to learn, wanting to experiment, I'm letting you watch what I'm going through and how I'm trying to figure all this out and get it going. Uh, Y'all can come along with me. If I screw up my system, you'll see me screw it up. <laughs> and... Realize, don't do what Joe did. But, uh, I'm happy. 26.2, uh, in my battery bank after a day like today, and after it keeping my refrigerator cold, I'm very happy with 26.2 volts. Uh, I can't stand here and do the math of volts times amps. Uh, equals watts and blah, blah, blah. I don't know all that. But I'm going by the fact 
I'm only going to use maybe 18 of the amp hours available to me overnight. So I should be good. Uh, again, please tell me if I'm wrong. Show me where, show me where my math is wrong. Uh, if I'm right, let me know I'm right. Uh, but remember, you got to like this. You know, hit that like button. Help me out. Uh, share this video. Comment. Uh, if you're if you are a subscriber, thank you. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Watch this journey as I transition to this off-grid life uh, in this little cabin. Because it's going to be a transition. And it's going to be a fun journey. I'm welcoming you guys to come along if you want. But uh, I got to head back to Wheeling. And like I said, it's, it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock. And getting dark already. Man, we're going to be getting dark here earlier and earlier. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm out.